Good. Okay. Okay, good. So all fine? Yes. So, uh, yes, it takes some time. Yes, I'm good. So uh, now this is the last time, last moment also. Okay, we'll keep recording. Don't worry, okay? And uh, listen carefully because we have not done in the okay entire so all the things okay hmm. we can revise and uh, ultimately it depends on you how you are listening the things okay hmm. so uh, now we need to uh, focus on uh, in modern physics mainly uh, our uh, transistor and you can tell okay in which okay where will we get how to give more time whatever topics because this is the last moment and last chance also that we can get the things okay okay huh. in modern physics transistor mainly people are having the problem okay transistor or uh, yes wave optics also optics also huh. waves already I have taken these things now so in uh, nuclei okay <laughs> okay then uh, okay we will revise all the things. Hmm. Okay, now, so first thing we are having here, you are uh, starting with modern physics. Modern physics having uh, eight questions, seven to eight questions are there and uh, we can uh, do all those questions this year. Only thing that you have to listen carefully, okay? Now, so first thing is starting with modern physics, then we'll go with the your uh, wave optics, then we can go with the optics also, okay? This way we will be having the things. So in uh, modern physics, first one is the your photoelectric effect. So be, uh, okay, brief info uh, of this photoelectric effect. So first why uh, I'm coming modern physics region being because uh, seven, eight questions are there. generally eight questions will be there. Photoelectric effect as well as your de Broglie. Now, so first thing I will not be going into your, uh, okay, just uh, main how questions will be asked, what are the formula here, okay? So we can write, this is the main formula in this one, Q equal to W plus, I uh, mean, your E equal to, we can write because we are writing everywhere, energy with E. So total energy equal to your W naught plus K maximum, that is the, your equation of, uh, okay, given by Einstein. Some loss is always there, okay, in this one. So we have to write here in this one like this, K equal to W naught plus K plus energy loss. And this energy loss is basically during your electron-electron collision, not during photon-electron collision. During photon-electron collision, energy is conserved, okay? You remember this thing, okay? During photon-electron collision okay energy is conserved okay energy conserved which thing is not conserved energy as well as momentum okay energy and momentum conserved which is not conserved during this collision yes during this photon electron collision number of photons may not be conserved okay number of photons may not be conserved so you have to remember here may not be conserved so number of photons may not be conserved, okay? But during photon electron energy is uh, conserved. Then you might be thinking then, then where this energy loss is happening, okay? Energy loss is happening whenever your electron is ejected. Suppose we are having this thing. Now there will be so many layers in the lattice. So this energy is absorbed by either your surface electron, either your here in this layer, either here. So if energy is absorbed by suppose these interior electrons, now when interior electron want to come out of the surface, they will be making collision, okay, with other electron. So energy is basically lost in your photon electron collision or electron electron collision. Energy is lost in your Yes, when this electron is coming out of the, okay, out of the surface, meanwhile, it will be making a lot of collision with other uh, electrons. So, it happens here in this one means uh, in E collision, okay, energy 
is lost. Okay, energy is lost. That's why what Einstein said that you will not consider these electrons because we don't know how much energy will be lost here. We will only consider your surface electron in which energy loss is the minimum. And if this energy loss is the minimum, then kinetic energy will be the maximum. So we got this one equal to W naught plus K max here. Now in this one, how to find the E is basically your one, two, four, double zero divided by lambda. Okay. Where this lambda should be in a storm and this energy will be coming always in electron volt. This is used so many times. Okay. Now here in this one, you need to remember for few wavelengths, like this is the fourth, uh, 2000. Okay. Because you have to do your question faster also. You will not be having that time here like your calculating here. So this energy becomes your 6.2. It should be directly remembered. This is the 3000 angstrom. So we can say it will be energy is approx 4.1 electron volt, 4000 electron volt. Okay, angstrom. Energy becomes your 3.1 electron volt. This is the 5000 angstrom. Energy becomes here in this one 2.4 electron volt. And then this is the 6000 angstrom. Energy becomes here 2.06. Yesterday also this question was there. Because if you are taking more time to calculate this thing, it takes a lot of time. Okay. So we can say these must be remembered all the time. Okay. For the faster calculation. Energy we can calculate like this. Okay. Now in this one we can say work function. Work function depends on nature of material. Okay. Nature of material material and nature of surface also and the nature of surface nature of material and nature of surface it depends on temperature also whatever properties depends on nature of material these depends on your temperature also okay clear so this one will depend on temperature also we say if uh, one material is at the lower temperature, one is at the somewhat higher temperature in which it is easy to eject. Of course, which one is at the higher temperature because already they are having some energy. So it will be somewhat easy to eject. Clear? Means if temperature is high, then ultimately your work function will be, okay, work function will be uh, low, okay, because already they will be having the energy. So work function depends on your nature of uh, material as well as your nature of uh, surface. This is the nature, okay, nature of uh, surface so now we'll be having numerical on this thing okay now we'll take uh, three four numerical also along with each concept so this is the main formula in the photoelectric effect this is the theoretical part you have to remember and uh, these how to calculate the energy now in this one one question is asked that which will be able to eject the electrons ultimately energy should be more than work function then only that will be able to eject the electrons like if i say here energy should be more than or equal to work function Energy is basically your H nu. So I can write here, frequency should be more than or uh, equal to threshold fr uh, frequency. Lambda, about the lambda we can say because energy formula is this, Hc by lambda should be more than or equal to Hc by lambda naught. So from here HCSC cancels, so we can say lambda should be less than or equal to lambda naught. Means which wavelength can eject, which are having lesser, lesser wavelength that can be used for ejection because lesser wavelength will be having more energy or lesser energy, lesser wavelength will be having more energy and then only they can be used for the ejection here, okay? Clear? Now I will ask here numerical question also as well as theoretical question also. I can say that we are having here in this one, suppose your UV light, okay, UV light is just able to eject just able to eject or i can say uv light okay is not able to eject uv light is not able to eject okay then which may eject which may eject okay question like this and answers they can say here like we are having your in this one your visible light visible light okay i can give you here options like this red light I can give you violet, I can give you infrared, I can give you x-ray. So you can say in this one, which are basically more energetic can be used. So answer will be your x-ray might be able to eject. We are not 100% sure. Well, out of these four options, one should be correct here. We know red cannot eject, violet cannot eject, and your IR cannot eject. So x-ray can be used for ejection. Even if we are not sure about this. Clear? Now, what will be the numerical question on this parameter? I will be giving wavelength and then I will be asking 
this can eject from which like i am giving here one question in this one this is given here that work function for some materials like uh, wah your 1.2 electron volt wb is your suppose 2.5 electron volt wc is okay suppose this is the 4.6 electron volt okay if uh, radiation of 4000 angstrom incident then pe is possible pe is possible so you can say pe is basically possible with what it is possible with uh, yes energy should be more than the work function then only it will be possible okay so we can first find the energy we know everyone knows corresponding to this energy will be how much corresponding to 4000 energy is your 3.1 electron volt this is the energy okay energy should be more than work function energy should be more than or equal to work function then only p is possible here so we can say in this case for c work function is 4.6 which one is more that is not possible here so we can say it becomes your a and b with both this is possible otherwise it is not possible clear this thing okay this is all about your ejection when ejection will happen when ejection will not happen okay this is just one numerical on the ejection now we'll go for next okay are you done okay now so we are having a next thing in this or listen one more thing if you have doubt again i am saying this is the last moment okay today having doubt means now it will be the doubt for all the time okay so today having any doubt you can ask freely okay now next question i will take here like this that uh, your threshold wavelength is 3000 angstrom and your uh, lambda equal to suppose 4000 angstrom incident what will be your uh, ke max okay ke max or stopping moment this is a very basic question here hmm energy should be more for okay energy should be more than the work function means in the previous question if energy is more than the your work function then only ejection will happen otherwise ejection will not happen so in case of a and b work function is less energy 3.1 is more that's why ejection is possible while with c work function is more not possible okay work function should be lesser now we can write here in this one yes here ejection is possible or not possible in this one in this question ejection is possible i'm asking ke max not possible not possible means what you will see here that ultimately your electrons will be able to eject no electrons will not be able to eject answer becomes zero okay answer is zero now i will change this one i can say suppose this becomes your 2000 angstrom now what will be the answer you can say sir this one energy will be 4.1 ev approximately and for this one 6.2 ev approximately k maximum we can write directly here e minus w naught okay so we got here in this one 6.2 minus 4.1 directly it becomes your 2.1 electron volt okay now here they can ask what are the velocity of maximum okay velocity of ejected electrons so we can write in this one half of m into v max whole square equal to 2.1 into this is basically in your electron volt and this is in your uh, joule this is in joule this is an electron volt so what you have to do here you need to convert this one also into your joule 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 so now we can write here in this v we have to find so v max whole square equal to you can write 2 multiplied here so 2 into 2.1 into 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 divided by we can write it will be the mass mass of the electron is yes how much 10 power minus 31 can i say 10 power minus 30 are mass mass of the electron you have to take 10 power minus 31 okay then we can do approximate calculation and not the charge mass of the electron mass of the electron your 10 power minus 31 you can assume this 9 all 9.1 is in the 9 this 2.1 h2 and then uh, okay ha huh. okay so we can say this is the lambda naught threshold so this is the work function here and this is the your e here and then we can write this is the e this is the w naught so we can write here k max or e minus w naught and then got this answer okay are 10 power minus 19 is the charge mass will be minus 31 mass mass of the electron 
अरे ओके 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 मीस मास आर इन अपर वैल्यू हियर आर टू राइट लाइक दिस 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 and here I have to put in this well mass okay downside so we can write 9.1 into 10 power minus 31 okay ha huh, okay I have not seen this this is our question here next question I will go for okay they can give you some relation related to this means uh, over this well. Stopping potential in the same question. If they are asking the stopping potential, then you have to remember stopping potential K maximum is always equal to your E V naught. That is the your V naught is the stopping potential. Okay, V naught is the stopping potential. So we can say here in this one, your uh, this is the two electron volt, two point one electron volt, two point one electron volt. Means we can write here how much? Yes. Stopping potential V naught will be just two volt. Actually, it should be negative. V naught should be the minus two volt. But in exam, they will not give you minus, so you can put directly your two volt. Okay, directly we have to put the two volt here. Minus may not be given to you. Yes, we have to divide by E to get already divided. Now this is the electron volt. Okay, two point one electron volt. So by E by E cancels only volt is left. Okay. If they are giving minus, then you will select the minus option. Okay. If minus is also given, then you have to select the minus option. But generally, options will be like this. They can give you options like two volt, then three volt, then they can give you four volt, then one volt. So ultimately, we have only one choice that we can choose two volt. But if they are giving minus two, you have to take that one. Okay. Yes. Next, sir. Well. Much four thousand. Why it is not possible? Because lambda is more energy will be less. Lambda more energy will be less. That's why it is not possible. When I took here four thousand ejection was not possible. Okay. Yes. Two point one means we can say around two. Okay. Two point one should be there. Two point one. Two point one. Okay. Yes. Next one. How we not is two? Are this is the two point one? Not two point one means I can say okay. Right here. Okay, two point one. Okay, two point one. This is also two point one. Okay. Hmm. K should be changed to here. K should be changed to here. How changed? Okay. In this one, when you have to find the velocity to find the stopping potential, you don't have to change. If its kinetic energy is five in the next light. Okay. If kinetic energy is five electron volt. Okay. I will take question like this. Kinetic energy of electron. This point also you remember. K of electron varies from zero to K max. Okay, means uh, those electrons which are coming from the surface, they are having the maximum kinetic energy, and those which are coming from the interior, they are having the zero. So suppose if I give you K of electrons, K of electrons is okay, one eV comma two. Okay, eV comma two point five eV comma three point two eV. What is the stopping potential? A stopping potential is decided by maximum kinetic energy electron you have to stop. Maximum, okay? Maximum. So we can say what is the maximum here? That is the your three point two. So if you are able to stop this one, all will be automatically stopped. All are going to be automatically stopped. So we can say this one a stopping potential should be three point two volt. Okay? It should be negative, but negative option generally not given. So we will take three point two. Okay? Over yes, kinetic energy varies uh, means from zero to K max. Next question. Suppose the stopping potential is given to you. Suppose we are having here they are giving in this one that stopping potential is uh, in this one. Hmm. Suppose the stopping potential I have taken three point one electron volt, and energy I am giving lambda equal to. 2000 angstrom incident they are asking in this when what should be the work function find the work function okay stopping potential 3.1 volt is given okay this is the 3.1 volt stopping potential is given to you if your stopping potential is 3.1 volt directly you can say kinetic energy in this one will be the 3.1 electron volt don't use the negative sign okay because kinetic energy is always positive so we can say kinetic energy will be okay how much 3.1 electron volt. Okay, always don't write kinetic energy in the negative. It is always your 
positive. So we get a 3.1 electron volt. We need to find the W naught. So it will be equal to your energy corresponding to this E will be equal to here. We can say 6.2 EV. So we get here E minus K max. And we can write here E that is the your 6.2 minus K max that is the your 3.1. We got the answer here. 3. Point, uh, yes. Hmm. 3.1. Are it 3. How 3.3? 3.1. Hmm. 3.1. This 3.1 is the basically in your uh, EV. They can uh, give the options. Uh, in your joule and if they are giving in joule then we can write here 3.1 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule this is the work function value in your joule okay now i will go for are this formula e equal to w naught plus k w naught plus k okay so from here i am getting this thing your w naught equal to e minus k okay Next. Here, next one question is there. There is a very popular question I will tell now. That is, they will be saying that uh, when, uh, or I will write like this. Listen, if uh, we are having, okay, this one is the, your two lambda stopping potential is V naught. When uh, incident light is having two lambda, then stopping potential is Two naught. Okay. Clear? Two lambda, lambda, they can say anything. It is the your V naught. Okay. Now, if I change to this, uh, okay, here in this one, suppose this becomes your two lambda by five. Okay. Two lambda by five. A stopping potential, this if uh, your energy is your one by five, then a stopping potential becomes six V naught. They will ask here, what is the your threshold wavelength? Lambda naught, they will ask, find lambda naught. So if they are asking lambda naught here, so what we can do, first you will write equation here, and then here you have to simplify. So we can write in this one, HC by lambda. So HC, because energy formula is this, E equal to here, you can write W naught plus K. Okay, W naught plus K. E, we can write HC by lambda. So I will be writing HC by two lambda. And this is beneficial to those also who have done nothing in entire, okay, one year or two year, okay. Then also you can learn something. Today also, okay, this is the, uh, so we can just HC by two lambda equal to W naught that we have to find plus K K can I write H EV naught equation number one, okay? Minus EV naught plus EV naught, your, uh, okay, answer will not change, okay? Now we can write here in this one that when it becomes HC by, for this one, two lambda by five, so two lambda by five here, okay, equal to W naught plus, this becomes how much? Six V naught. Now can we do this thing? You can write minus here, minus here, minus here, this thing, okay? Ultimately, now we need to find the work function, okay? We have to find the work function, so we cannot do minus. Otherwise, your W naught will be cancelled. If they're asking relation of your lambda and V naught, then we can minus to so W naught. Now, we have to divide here in this one. So, if you divide equation number one and two, so what you will get here if a division is happening in this one, HC by two lambda, HC by two lambda will be cancelled. So here we are reading in this one 1 by 5. So we can write here 1 by 5 will be equal to W naught plus EV naught. Okay. Now here in this one what happens options they can make three ways three types of option they can make. One time they will ask W naught. Okay. W naught in terms of your V naught. Okay. W naught in terms of V naught or W naught in terms of lambda naught. You have to check where they are asking option in terms of your V naught or in terms of your lambda naught before solving. Okay. So suppose it is in the V naught, then we can do your uh, here division, your uh, this lambda lambda will be, I mean, lambda will be cancelled and then we can get answer in terms of your V naught. Okay. Which this lambda will be cancelled. But if they are asking in terms of your lambda, lambda not in terms of lambda then what you have to do now we have to eliminate this term this ev not term should be eliminated 
So what is given in the option, then you have to match accordingly. So now if I want to, if you divide, okay, 5 by 1 means 1 by 5 equal to, you will be getting like this, 1 by 5 equal to here, W0 plus EV divided by your W0 plus 6 EV, and then you will cross, you got the, your work function at threshold wavelength in terms of stopping potential, okay? Suppose they are asking in terms of lambda option. So now we can write here, I need to cancel this EV0. This term I have to cancel. So how you can cancel? Here, this is a 6 EV0, and this is the, your EV0. So you have to multiply here your uh, 6. If I multiply with 6, then ultimately you can write, uh, this will be the 6 EV0, this is the 6 EV0. If I subtract minus, 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 now it will be cancelled. So you can say this is the, yes, 6 HC by 2 lambda, 5 HC by 2 lambda. How much left here? We can write 6 HC, so it will be the HC by 2 lambda. And here we can write 6 work, 6 W0 minus W0. So we can write here in this one, it becomes... Yes, 5W0. Can you solve this one now? Because W0 is just uh, your 5 into HC by lambda naught and HCSC cancelled. So we can write here lambda naught becomes in this one. Yes, HCSC we can cancel. So lambda naught is how much? 10 lambda. Okay. So either it will be in your V0, either in your terms of lambda. So we can get the things. Okay. Either you have to divide, either you have to subtract. You have to decide. Hmm. Now, next question. Next. Okay. Next point I'm writing here that you have to remember in this one. Hmm. You have to, okay, practice also these things. If uh, frequency of incident radiation, incident radiation doubles or frequency of incident radiation becomes n times n times then k of ejected electron k of ejected electron you remember something k of ejected electron will be more than n times okay directly you have to remember more than n times okay more than n times clear how okay we have to remember now more than n times if i ask about the stopping potential then the stopping potential is the same as your K itself, okay? So we can say your SP, okay? SP becomes, a stopping potential also becomes your uh, same, more than n uh, times, okay? What about the your uh, speed? Kinetic energy is your half mv square, na? So if kinetic energy is more than n times, then velocity will be more than root, okay? So we can say your velocity will be, velocity will be, yes, more than root, more than root, okay, n times, more than root n times. You have to remember this result, very important result in this one, more than root n times, okay. How they will ask the questions on this? Ready? Question they can ask that if frequency becomes three times, if frequency of the incident becomes three times, Everyone can say K will be K will be more than three times, more than three times. Okay. Kinetic energy will be more than three times. Okay. If K becomes three uh, times, I mean, sir, okay. If uh, frequency becomes three times, then we can say kinetic energy will be more than three times. And the velocity, if I ask about the velocity, then you can say velocity will be more than root three times, more than root three times, clear? More than root three times, done. Either they can, they can ask about the frequency, either they can ask about the energy, okay? Energy, or, or they can ask the same question with respect to your wavelength, okay? So next question we are having related to the wavelength here. So if I see here in this one, suppose they are saying that if, Wavelength is changed, is changed from, okay, lambda to, if wavelength is changed from lambda to lambda by 4, if wavelength is changed from lambda to lambda by 4, means ultimately wavelength is lesser. So frequency will be how much? 4 times. Frequency will be 4 times, okay. And if this meaning, okay, it means... 
it means frequency will be okay four times frequency will be four times and now you can answer everything that yes k will be more than four more than four times and we can write your stopping potential also more than four times and we create your velocity so velocity will be root four root four means more than two times okay more than two times you need to okay remember these type of questions next okay then this one i can ask like this also that here okay another question i can ask here that lambda two suppose this becomes uh, okay like this lambda to three lambda by four lambda to three lambda by four it means your frequency becomes frequency becomes how much four by three times and if frequency four by three times then i can say k will be basically your more than okay more than four by three times okay Hmm. If wavelength becomes two times, then if wavelength becomes two times, then you cannot comment whether ejection will be there or ejection will not be there. It is not possible to predict because wavelength increases, then it might become less than the threshold. So wavelength increases. Okay, we are not sure. So numerical will be asked, but not the theoretical question. Higher wavelength, this wavelength might be lesser than the your threshold. So chances of ejection not there. Are velocity now you can find the velocity will be root of more than root of four by three times more than root of four by three times few things we can do by yourself also three examples are written here <laughs> for the velocity also how to tell here <laughs> now next question next one for the next question what we have to do here in this one remember if uh, anyhow if frequency becomes lesser than if frequency becomes lesser than your threshold there is no ejection at all okay no ejection at all clear now in this one you need to remember here first parameter okay your uh, graph of intensity this is the your i here and this is the we can say your photo current and this is the i okay this graph is directly proportional all the time okay this is the photo current here and this is the your uh, intensity here both are directly proportional okay basically your number of photons are given by this formula 5 into 10 power 24 p lambda okay p lambda where we can write like this also 5 into 10 power 24 power is your intensity into area into lambda n so you can say your uh, intensity is going to decide intensity is going to decide the number of photons if uh, more intense light, more intense light means more uh, number of photons. And if more number of photons, then ultimately more number of uh, more number of electrons. If more number of electrons, then more current will be there. Okay. So if I ask current depends on which factor? Current depends on which factor? Current depends on your intensity. Okay. If I ask saturation current or normal any current, then we can say depends on the intensity. Okay. So you have to remember I H only. Okay. Photo current depends on photo current depends on intensity. Sir, wavelength is measured in nanometer. Yes. Okay, angstrom or nanometer, anything can be there. You should know how to convert. Okay, nano is the 10 power minus 9. I will tell also, okay, nano and angstrom conversion because a lot of people do mistake in that. Now, it depends only it's not on the frequency of the source. Okay, it depends on the number. Number means intensity. Clear? Now, what we can write here in this one, if I ask, if source is having more frequency, if source is having more frequency, means source is having more energy also. More frequency means source is having more energy. And if source is having more energy, ultimately what happens? Your more energy will be incident. So kinetic energy will be more. So stopping potential will be more. Means we can say that K or stopping potential, K or stopping potential depends on okay, frequency of the frequency of uh, source okay k and stopping potential depends on frequency of the source these are the two relation you need to remember here okay now related to this i am going to ask the question now okay related to this here clear 
first i can ask the graphical question then i will go for the numerical and then uh, okay we'll be having the hmm, all the important things of this chapter will be completed suppose if i ask first graph some spaces there so i can plot here if i give you okay here keeping the same source here i'm keeping the same source same source means what thing is same your uh, stopping potential will be same cardiac energy will be same so keeping the same source i am putting these three graphs okay now we can say this is the your here i1 intensity i2 this is the i3 everyone can say sir i3 will be more because here current is more so we can say your i3 then your i2 then your i1 and we have drawn this graph when uh, your source was same okay next graph we can have here in this one like this keeping intensity same okay means three sources at some different distance or having two here now we can say this is the your uh, new one frequency this is the new two and here intensity i have kept uh, same okay now you can say in this one here this is having v not and this is having your v not two which stopping potential is more ultimately this one is more and if this one is more so you can say here new two is more than new one clear new two is more than new one done now if i give you mixed type of graph what the mixed type of graph means i can give you like this and then like this and this one okay in this one we are having the mixed okay generally chances are there they can give you like this this third one okay so that both the things will be covered in that second graph condition i am keeping i same here intensity same okay now in this one i am varying both the things okay both i am varying okay so we are getting this one so now we can write here in this that this is the your i1 and this is the i2 this is the i3 and this is the new one this is the new two this is the new three so we can say first about this here these two things are the same so i2 and uh, means i3 equal to i2 and this thing is more than i1 clear because here current is less and here current is more and here we can say this new three is more so new three is more than your new two equal to new one probably they will ask this third one because third one is covering your both the questions here yes over any problem okay then the hmm now these are the two more graphs that you have to remember here okay already you know how to plot these things okay and if you don't know then you will remember because cardiac energy and stopping potential both are same okay almost same there is the only difference of that e so this thing is basically here your w not w not okay generally you need to remember about the your slope they will be asking about the slope okay how these graphs are plotted because any one i can tell either this one or this one okay one you have to do by yourself so if i say slope here in this one so you can say formula is your k equal to e minus w not k is the ev not this is the h nu minus w not so your v not will be equal to h by e nu minus w not so you can see if you compare y equal to mx plus c so your slope is h by e this is the slope here here h by e and here this slope is what your h okay slope of k and frequency is equal to planck constant and slope of sp and frequency is your h by e that is the only difference otherwise graph nature is same okay nature of graph is exactly same next one ready uh uh next one next we are having i will be giving here that uh, okay and you have to remember one thing also that intensity is proportional to 1 by d square and this thing is for a point source and generally we are having point source all the time okay means uh, whenever we are doing the experiments we are having the point source so for the point source it is all the time okay 
all the time your uh, 1 by d square okay now question is here so intensity means your photo current also proportional to this they will be saying that uh, a cell or photo cell or anything okay and this thing is also proportional to your number number of photon or number of ejected electron so number of photo uh, photons or number of photo electrons or intensity or current is proportional to 1 by d square so i will say that this is the plate okay and this is the source this distance is suppose your d so we are getting here number of photons and current i okay number of photons and current i and ke i am getting the k okay this is the k symbols have usual meanings you should know what is this and number of photons i current and this is the k if i keep this one at the distance d by 2 okay now if the distance becomes d by 2 then what will be happening the same source okay this is the same source kept at d by 2 so you know number will be 4n why because distance half 4n your current also becomes 4i but is there any change in the k there is no change in the k k will remain as same k will remain as same clear here i have not changed the source source is still same so frequency of the source is same that's why k is remain same stopping potential is also here is stopping potential v not here is stop also stopping potential is going to be v not clear this one which parameter will change which will not change okay kinetic energy as well as your v not will not change stopping potential will not change here your number as well as your i will change okay now again one more question on the same thing okay i will change source also i will change distance also both the things i will change let's see what happens okay yes next one okay so question is here that this is the plate here i am not giving the uh, your uh, because ultimately in the questions theoretical things will be given sir capital i means intensity yes capital i intensity small i is the current okay now so we can say here this is the plate okay and this is the source and this is at the distance uh, d at the last moment the concentration of the people is increased to 1000 times yes now today we have to get all the things <laughs> this is the d and this is the having frequency your okay 1.5 new not okay 1.5 new not here clear and this is having threshold frequency new not here in this when number of i mean sir now this question will be clearing lot of things here photons number of photons that is the your n ph number of ejected electron and e okay ejected electrons number is your n e symbols have usual meaning okay now current is photo current i photo current is i here and in this i am giving you your k max is suppose k okay k is the k okay now if uh, in this question this is replaced with okay now here if uh, distance half and frequency half distance also half frequency also half means source also changed okay so what will happen on these factor all these factor okay we are still now just uh, we remember about the your current and all the things so we can say distance is half distance is half means what will be this thing your d by 2 okay distance half means d by 2 and here we can say in this one your it will be the 0.75 new not okay this is the new not so first of all you need to decide whether photoelectric effect is going to happen or not happen photoelectric effect is not going to happen okay why because frequency is less than new not okay this is the your 0.75 everyone knows 0.75 is less than new not okay 0.75 is less than new not okay you should know this thing if this is the less than new not then ultimately no pe pe is not there pe will not be there now we have to answer all these things okay so we can say what about the number of photons now number of photons number of photons will be 
they are or not there number of photons will be increased because ultimately distance is reduced number of photons are going to increase yes how much we can say here can we, okay four times yes this will be what about this this thing zero current will be zero k will be also zero all the things are zero except your photons will be there some photons are going to be there but these photons becomes weak photons so they will not eject this okay they are not going to eject okay then okay photons are not zero okay photons non zero okay number of photons will be non zero other things other are uh, equal to zero number of photons non zero others will be zero okay next one so graphs over and all these things over here now questions on e equal to w naught plus k e okay you can practice from the dat also in that one questions are there okay and good questions are there this will be over okay now i'll be going for your uh, dual nature okay for the dual nature we can say in this one okay lambda equal to h by p or your h by m into v okay means this is the only formula here mv everyone can say this this is the root of 2m ke also yes we can say root of 2m ke lambda equal to h by h by mv and h by root of 2m ke kinetic energy we can write in terms of voltage why current is zero because there was no ejection that's why current was zero why there was no ejection because photo in the previous question because frequency become less this thing it becomes less than the threshold that's why no pe first you have to decide this thing that pe will be there or will not be there okay yes we can write in this one terms of potential h by root of 2 m qv in terms of temperature we can write h divided by okay in terms of temperature i can write okay in terms of temperature in terms of temperature everyone knows kinetic energy equal to 3 by 2 kt so we can write here lambda becomes h by root of if you put here 3 by 2 to to cancel 3 mkt these are the main formula here i think we can remember all the formula you yeah, remember there is no choice okay this is the last moment now we can write here for the electron okay because most of the time question is asked for the electron in this if i put all the values then lambda becomes 12.27 divided by root v or root of 150 by v okay if you have okay memorize memory power you can remember for other also but others not ask all the time electron 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 is asked okay now one question is mainly on this one and one question mainly on this one other questions related to the velocity and momentum for the easy question they can say one particle which is moving with the velocity of this and mass is this what are the de broglie we can calculate yes Yes, three by two is the your average average energy. Okay, now in this one, they can say that uh, like this. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You ask one particle divides into two parts. One divides into two parts. Then we can say your uh, yes momentum for these two fragment will be your uh, same p same. So de Broglie wavelength is going to be same. De Broglie wavelength will be same for this. Okay, means if divides into two parts, then we can write or I can write in the next one. because here generally people do the mistake it divides into two parts okay so you know this will be the p1 this will be the p2 okay in respect of mass okay this is the 27 raised to 1 in respect of mass any division okay any ratio of mass momentum is going to be same so we can write your lambda will be equal to h by p and if lambda is h by p p same okay because we know p1 is going to be equal to p2 so your lambda 1 by lambda 2 is going to be 1 by 1 all the time okay in this question all the time okay yes now next one i can take here you have to remember graph also graph of lambda and p lambda here p here on velocity graph will be like this because there is the inverse relation in this one now i'll be taking question on the electron there is the most okay hmm yes so if i take here they will be saying that if k of electron is is 
400 EV find its dBW. Find dBW. If K of the electron is 400 electron volt, then what are the dBW? You know, in this one, if K of the electron is 400 electron volt, then what will be the de Broglie wavelength? So you know that 400 EV means this electron is basically accelerated through what potential? 400 volt. Generally, they will be giving this value also. That 400 volt, they can give you. Electron accelerated through 400 volt. What should be the your dBW? Okay. So in this one, what we can say, they have not given the potential. They have given the your energy. We can say this will be the potential. And then we can lambda becomes your 12.27 divided by root 400. And this becomes your 12.27 divided by s 20. You have to calculate this one. Okay. Now, next one I can say here, I will be giving the dBW will be given to you. And once dBW is given, they can ask what are the kinetic energy of this and what are the potential of this. With dBW given, we can find the your, yes. So next question on next slide here. Yes, question is here. They are saying that if dBW of electron is 12.3, Yes, I guess from a nanometer. Okay, nanometer. Yes, root 150 by V can be also used. Okay. Is nanometer find its K? Find its K. Give me the answer. Give me the answer. Meanwhile, I will eat something. Hmm. Yes. Fast. I am asking answer. I am not asking nanometer. Who is giving this answer? Ten power minus nine. Hmm. One. Okay, let's do. Remember this thing because generally here mistake happens. And this is used everywhere so many times, so many places. Your 10 angstrom, okay? 10 angstrom is basically 10 into 10 power minus 10. And this is the 10 power minus 9. And, uh, okay? And 10 power minus 9 meter is basically your so 10 angstrom becomes basically 1 nanometer. This is the relation we need to remember. Okay. 10 angstrom is 10 into 10 power minus 10. Are you? Angstrom is 10 power minus 10. Na? 10 into 10 power minus 10. And 10 into 10 power minus 10, 10 power minus 9. And nano is basically 10 power minus 9. So 10 angstrom is your. Yes. So now we can say here in this one that whenever nano is given, you can write as 10 angstrom. So I can say this is the 12.3 into 10 angstrom. Can I say like this? 12.3 into 10 angstrom. Uh, any doubt here? Listen, here you will have always doubt in this one. If you are having doubt and you will not be able to remember, then you will go through here. 10 angstrom, 10 angstrom is your 10 into 10 power minus 10, because angstrom is 10 power minus 10 meter. Okay. 10 into 10 power minus 10 is the 10 power minus 9 meter. Minus 9 meter is the nano. Okay. So in this, people forget this is the okay simple thing. We can forget, no problem. But we'll remember this basic thing, okay? That angstrom 10 power minus 10, nano is the minus 9. Now we can say this is the 10 nanometer. I can write as 10 angstrom here. So you can say it becomes your 12.3 into this 123 angstrom. Then I will use lambda equal to 12.27. I can say 12.3 divided by root V, and this is the 123. You can say how much here? 10 times. Ah, okay. So this is the 10. So we can write here. If I do a square 1 by V equal to 10 square. So V equal to it will be your how much? 10 power minus 2. 10 power minus 2 volt. So we can say kinetic energy will be 10 power minus 2 electron volt. Ah, how many of you got correct answer in this? Because most of the people are were giving the answer 1. Okay, next question. Ready for next? Done? Yes.
So remember this thing, okay? Two questions we have done on this one. One energy given, finding the wavelength. Wavelength given, we have to find the energy here, okay? Energy or potential, okay? Now one turn for the theoretical question here, okay? So listen, theoretical question will be like this. You remember something about the resolving power? Resolving power is how much? One by lambda, okay? As of now, you will remember resolving power is one by lambda. Is proportional to one by lambda, okay? I will tell also today, okay? Resolving power one by lambda. So they will say here that if uh, in electron microscope, electron microscope, Okay, PD increased. If an electron microscope PD means potential difference increased, if potential difference increased, then ultimately your potential is more. Potential is more than lambda will be. Yes, lambda will be less because lambda is your 12.27 by root V. Lambda will be less. And if lambda is less, then ultimately we can write, okay, if lambda is less, then your RP will be more. So how RP can be increased, resolving power can be increased by applying your higher potential difference, your resolving power of the electron microscope can be increased, okay? Over, then, ah, resolving power will be having separately, okay, in the wave optics. Okay, next, number 20. Next one we are having here in this one, that uh, more PD, are more PD, less lambda, less lambda, so ultimately your more RP, okay? Now, we are having your one question about the proton, neutron, and alpha particle. This question is having uh, its own importance in your magnetism also, this question is asked. Yesterday, all exam was also there, this question, in the track one, if you have seen. Related to this, these particles will be used, either proton, either neutron, either your alpha particle. We need to remember charge as well as mass of these. So we can write here in this way, lambda of proton, lambda of neutron, and lambda of alpha particle, H divided by root of 2mqv. Here also, H by root of 2mqv. I will be putting the values. Now we can say mass of alpha particle, you can say mass is your m. Charge is E, V, okay, all are having same potential, okay, all are accelerated through same PD, okay, same potential difference. Now we can say for this one, H divided by root of, what we can write in this one, 2 M, mass of the neutron, mass of the neutron, here confusion comes, mass and charge, our neutron is 4 M, okay, 8 M, 20 M, anything you can write, only thing that answer will be wrong, yes, huh? 2m, 1h2, 1d2, 1h2, okay, so we said 2m, charge is, charge is E, here we write h divided by root of 2, mass value the 4m, this is the your 2e charge into V, okay, so now we can say here 2m EV cancelled, 2m EV cancelled, 2m EV cancelled. So we are left with 1, here 1 by root 2. This is the 1 by 8, so 2 root 2. Okay, done. Are D2 is this, na? 1 is 2 or 1 D2. So what are the, this, this lower number always tells the your? charge number, upper will tell the mass number, okay? You have to remember, this is the charge number, upper is the mass number. Ready for next? Uh, you can multiply with, okay, 2 root 2 everywhere, 2 root 2, okay? Uh, so 2 root 2, 2 and then uh, 1. Next one we are having here in this one, that is related to your uh, photon and your any particle. Photon and particle relations are there in this one. Photon and particle relation. Particle relation means generally, okay, they are going to give you the electron, okay. Photon and particle relation is generally electron is given to us. So whenever photon is there for the photon, you will use all the time formula. Energy equal to Hc by lambda, okay. Energy equal to Hc by lambda, we have to use. E equal to 1 to 4 double zero by lambda. This formula is applicable to photon or anything. 1 to 4 double zero by lambda is applicable to all particles or for photon. Here, okay, 
photon okay and for the electron we having this formula don't do that mistake okay lambda equal to 12.27 by root v okay using this we can find the energy means if i write here na we having this one okay and here we having this one so how clear difference in this now in this one they can say that they are having same momentum same energy one question like this okay means ultimately whenever this is coming for electron you can write kinetic energy like this half mv square okay you can write kinetic energy half mv square and for energy you will write always hc by lambda okay hc by lambda clear now p equal to h by lambda is valid for anyone momentum equal to h by lambda is for all okay because from the dual uh, nature we got de broglie okay we got for all okay lambda here in angstrom here also in your angstrom everywhere in the angstrom okay lambda i never deal with the nanometer okay? we deal with the angstrom all the time now so we can say here in this one they are saying one question that uh, if uh, we will the same or energy same anyone because two questions are there and method for both is exactly same okay if uh, ratio of or i'm not taking two i'm taking third one okay ratio of momentum hmm. or i'm not taking anything just i will tell the how to proceed for those questions okay so all three will be covered energy of photon you will write always energy photon that will be how much hc by lambda this is the method to solve any type of question three types are there same energy same momentum and third question nothing is same okay so you will always proceed like this energy of photon equal to hc by lambda clear energy of electron energy of electron can i say this will be how much half mb square half mv square okay we can write here in this one half m v square okay any problem here now in this one they will be giving you if okay they are giving that momentum same so p of photon equal to we can say p of electron so p of photon will be how much your h by lambda equal to we can write m into v so you will get one relation now we can uh, replace here we can cancel all the time you have to do this thing only hc by lambda you can put here in this one your h by lambda h m into v it will be okay cancelled and we will get one relation here means if i put in this one h by lambda h by lambda is your m into v so we get m into v into c divided by 2 will be going upside and then we create your m into v square mm cancelled so what is the answer here 2c by v okay 2c by v ultimately this is the your choice how we are going to solve these things always you write energy of photon as hc by lambda energy of electron as half mv square and if they are giving momentum same then we can write like this okay we got 2v by c generally this is the uh, most common question here to okay in this one 2c by v clear okay or if i give you ratio of momentum if ratio of momentum is given na so some ratio relation will be given like this uh, ratio of momentum i can say like p ph divided by pe each okay suppose i am giving you 2 by 1 10 by 1 okay like this so you can say here also same thing you will get p ph equal to how much 10 p so we get your h by lambda equal to how much 10 i mean to v only this this constant will be changed numerical will remain same so to solve a question on photon and particle basic thing that you have to remember is for the photon at c by lambda all the time and energy will be 1 to 4 double zero by lambda this is for photon only for the electron we have to write half mv square or lambda equal to 12.27 by root v clear and then we can divide here okay if uh, momentum is same then we will use this thing if they are giving some ratio also then also h by lambda h by lambda now you will replace with what 10 mv so what answer you will get in this one if you replace with 10 mv then you will get here 20 c by v so your answer okay will be changed otherwise other things will remain same put on particle relation over so in the dbw what are the important things first 
वेलोसिटी एंड योर मोमेंटम क्वेश्चन कार्डिकर जी क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट वन योर ग्राफ वॉज दियर इलेक्ट्रॉन रिलेशन ओके इलेक्ट्रॉन एनर्जी एंड नेक्स्ट वी वर हैविंग योर वॉट नेक्स्ट वी वर हैविंग योर ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू सेवन टाइप क्वेश्चन एनर्जी फाइंडिंग एज वेल एज वेबल फाइंडिंग ओके and then this is the one segment after that one segment is there motion of particle in the electric field as well as magnetic field and then this will be the over okay so listen over if i say here e equal to means velocity equal to v equal to v not i and b equal to suppose if i say b not into j or b not into i okay i and j and both both i will take here okay so you know basically in this one if i find force of magnetism that the q v cross b so q v cross b v cross b will be how much are v cross b will be in this one both are parallel both are parallel so answer is zero and if force is zero if force is zero then this will be accelerated no no force means velocity will not change and if velocity will not change ultimately okay velocity v constant and if v constant then your lambda will be constant okay lambda will be constant clear okay if for the perpendicular also because of the perpendicular force it moves on the circular path it moves on the circular path because of the perpendicular normal force in that case also your lambda will not change because that force is responsible for changing the velocity changing the changing the velocity changing the velocity means changing the direction not changing the magnitude just moves on the your circular path in that case your radius is always equal to how much mv by qb radius equal to mv by qb okay if uh, okay perpendicular okay if electron enters into enters into perpendicular field then we get r will be equal to your mv by qb okay generally this is not asked so not giving some importance theoretical question is asked from this okay still lambda will remain same lambda will change only in your case of electric field now we'll take electric field v equal to v not i and e equal to e not i okay and suppose this is the your electron okay this is the electron because it will depend on electron or positron okay means positive charge or negative charge electron is there so we can say this is the e and electron is moving this side with the velocity v not and field is also present in the same direction now force on electron force on negative charge will be same direction of field or opposite direction of field same direction of field opposite direction of field yes it will be opposite so we can say force on this electron will be in the opposite direction of field now because of this force because of this force its speed is going to decrease if its speed is going to decrease then we can write here in this pen yes v not decreases and if v not decreases ultimately what happens lambda will be increasing lambda is going to increase clear okay next one they can say like this that it is opposite opposite case can we do yes opposite case we can do if electric field is in the your negative direction okay now next one then we are having your uh, atoms atom chapter is very easy chapter i think uh, okay everyone is comfortable with that atom chapter i i think i should not write here anything about the atom you have to remember radius formula velocity formula kinetic energy formula kinetic energy potential energy total energy ratio uh okay yes those things so now i am directly jumping to the your uh, okay transistor because it will take the time semi conductor okay directly jumping to the semi conductor okay and then i will come to the nuclei after the semi conductor i will come to the nuclei and then your wave optics okay hmm repeat the topics in uh, atoms those things we have done in one year you think that we will uh now because almost similar things we are writing okay just whatever important important things we are writing will you tell webs yes okay whatever important things is i feel or uh now we are having here semiconductor in semiconductor first thing that you have to remember that the intrinsic 
and in your intrinsic semiconductor okay your number of electron and number of holes are same and this is known as your intrinsic concentration okay both are same in this thing these are generated because of your uh, thermal agitation because of thermal agitation means we can say because of the temperature okay now very low charge carriers okay very low charge carriers so we they are having very low conductivity okay very low conductivity okay means here they will be having some conductivity but ultimately your conductivity is very 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 less clear conductivity is very 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 less okay so if conductivity is very very less then what we have to do we have to increase the conductivity and how we can increase the conductivity by mixing something that is known as your doping okay here one more law is there that you need to remember n e into n h equal to n i whole square because you can see if n e and n h both are same so n i n i so n i whole square okay here one numerical is there that is important in the solid example of ncrt given so you have to remember that one n e into n h equal to n i whole square or i will tell if time will be there so what we have to do to increase conductivity we are doing the doping means for increasing conductivity okay to increase conductivity you have to do the doping what are the condition of doping basically your dopant should be dopant should be okay similar size similar size means size cannot be large too large or too small because it is going to create the disturbance okay it is going to create the disturbance it should be the similar size clear okay and listen uh, means uh, uh, i will send these slides okay so just listen carefully because here you should be able to read this thing what is written okay but these are just written okay in the doctor's language similar size later on you will read something else what is the meaning okay and you will think what was there <laughs> so you should be able to read this thing so you have to uh, okay listen this one that okay this is the similar size uh, so screenshot not required i will send whole okay recording also as well as this also so after some time you have to also write like this na which one i don't know okay no one knows uh, after some time you will be also writing the same way so we can say we are going to dope here okay so doping should be similar size okay means order uh, it will be too big lattice will be disturbed so we are having basically your two types these are known as your extrinsic and in this one you have to remember this is the your p type here and what is the your n type so basically what happens in this one we are mixing the pentavalent and here we uh, means uh, here we are having the trivalent here trivalent and here we are having your penta valent okay now penta valent is basically acceptor or donor this is the known as your donor atom here and these are basically known as your acceptor if acceptor is there acceptor is going to accept if going to accept then it is going to create lot of holes holes are the basically your deficiency so here it is going to acceptor atom is going to create the holes and donor atom is going to donate your electrons so what becomes the major here in this one listen this is the your lattice structure this is the your gap all the time okay this is the your vb this is the your cb okay valence band conduction band what are the conduction band where free electrons are there okay that is known as your conduction band where they can move freely so because of the temperature everyone knows that three electrons and three holes or some electron and some holes are always generated so some holes and some electrons are there these are because of the your temperature or thermal agitation clear now we are getting huge number of electrons in this huge number of electrons so many electrons and why we are getting so many electrons because of your donor atom here so in this one contribution of electron is coming from both the things contribution of electron means here number of electron is actually number of electron is because of number of your donor atom plus because of temperature because of temperature i can say intrinsic concentration but already we have seen intrinsic concentration is very very less intrinsic concentration is very very less in the last slide that's why we are doping this nd and because of your nd your number of electrons will be increased manifold so many okay now conductivity will be increased and i is very very less so generally we write n e is proportional to n d okay but you remember this thing yesterday question was based on this fact 
it is very very less and i is very very less so what do we write all the time any proportional uh, means any approximately equal to your n d clear here number of electrons are like thousand donor atoms so thousand electrons are there but total number of electrons will not be thousand total number of electrons will be thousand ten and these ten are coming because of the temperature okay that is the ni but number of ni is actually very very less in the calculations we never consider okay but theoretically we consider all the time here we can say in this one we are having this is the your structure of this and uh, here we are getting because of the temperature some holes and some electrons because of the temperature this is known as your intrinsic concentration okay just for the example three three and huge number of holes we are going to get here huge number of holes because of the your acceptor atom so you can say here number of holes is basically equal to number of your uh, okay acceptor atom plus an i but that an i contribution because of the an i was very very less so we can write your n h h almost equal to your n a okay now one thing you have to this thing is clear here if i ask what the major minor everyone can say here major is the your okay here major we can say this is the your electron and minor is the your uh, holes from the figure you can say here we can say your uh, minor is the electrons and major is the okay major is the holes okay hmm. My major and minor. One more thing that you have to remember in this one for the theoretical questions that in this one, what is the energy level of energy level of the donor atom? Because donor atom how to donate to the conduction band from here it how to donate. So energy level should be close to the CB or VB. Energy level of donor should be close to the CB. Okay, here it should be close to CB. So you have to remember that energy level of energy level of donor should be close to should be close to cb but in this case it how to okay d means here donor what is the d a b c d e f g h this is the d okay now in this case okay here here we can write in this it how to take electron from the valence band. I mean, it how to take electron from the valence band. It will snatch electron from the valence band. Then only holes are created. Okay. So energy level of this acceptor, acceptor should be close to, acceptor should be close to. It should be very close to the valence band. Then it can only take. So we can say in this one. Okay, here it should be close to this. So energy level of acceptor, energy level of acceptor of acceptor close to okay your vb these are the things that you have to remember in your intrinsic as well as extrinsic max to max over is p type as well as n type okay hmm. then now yesterday question was based on this this is the equation number one and this is the equation number two here okay and if you subtract those these two relation number one as well as number two your ni and i will be cancelled and you will get the answer of yesterday question because generally what happens we remember this thing that uh, your number of electrons are equal to the number of donor no theoretically not equal number of electron are coming from the temperature also some electrons and some holes are coming okay now Generally, this conception is your misconception happens that sir P type means positive type and type means negative type. Okay, so we can say here that uh, yes, this is the positive type, this is the negative, this is the wrong. Okay, any type of semiconductor is always neutral. Okay, any type of semiconductor is always neutral. Okay, so you have to remember this line any semiconductor always neutral, any semiconductor P type and type intrinsic always, always neutral okay always neutral either p type or n type or uh, yes hmm. do you need break <laughs> oh because 1.5 uh, more than 1.5 is over no <laughs> okay already i am taking okay <laughs> so i don't need if you need okay after 15 minutes, okay? I will continue. Hmm.
PN junction. Okay. Listen, in the PN junction here, okay, one side you are doping with P, one side you are doping with N, and here we are having, okay, this side your N, this is the P, so this side we are having the positive, and these are the positive immobile, okay? These are the, your, uh, okay, this side, donor, donor becomes the positive, and here we are having the, your acceptor or the negative. Now, what happens in this one? That here, okay, a strong electric field exists. Always you have to remember a strong electric field exists in the your depletion layer. This is the depletion layer, okay? A strong electric field with H basically with H your order of 10 power minus 5 minus 6, okay? Minus 6, I can say it is the, your micrometer order, okay? 10 power minus 6. Now, and here very strong field is there, very strong field, okay? Now in this one, what happens? This side we are having the your holes are the major, and uh, okay, this side uh, holes major and some of the electrons. This side electrons are there and uh, some of the holes are there. So because of concentration difference, here concentration of hole is more, here concentration of electron is more. So because of concentration difference, whatever movement is there, that movement is known as your uh, diffusion. Okay, so we can say what the diffusion current. Uh, I diffusion is because of your concentration difference. Okay. What are the region of this one due to concentration difference? Okay. Now, due to concentration difference, what happens? They will be going this side as well as this side, and then they will recombine as a result of this depletion layer was formed. Okay. If I ask what is the direction you have to remember, direction of diffusion current, you can say holes are going this side, so current will be in the, the same direction. Electrons are coming this way, coming this way, so direction of current will be opposite to that. So as a result, because of both direction of current is always, diffusion current is always P2, P2N, okay, you have to remember this one. P2 and clear. If I ask you drift current, then what is the meaning of drift? That under this influence of this, a strong electric field which are nearer to this like this hole is nearer to this and this is electron here okay what will happen this elect this uh, field will okay apply force on this it will say go this side to hold this side so this electron forcefully it will be sent this side this hole will be sent this side so ultimately what happens hole going this way current in this direction electron going that way current going okay again this one so we can say because of this minority flow this is because of your minority flow, okay? And the direction of current is your N to P, okay? N to P, this is the, your direction of current, clear? And this one is your because of the majority flow. Which current will be more initially? Diffusion will be more huge diffusion was there. And later on, your internal field, this internal field, E internal, okay? Opposes, opposes, okay? Your majority so I diffusion will be, I diffusion decreases and, okay, supports minority, supports minority. So what happens in the thermal equilibrium, both current becomes same. So is there any net current? No net current inside the, okay, movement is there, both side movement is there, but no net current means unbiased condition, in unbiased condition where I can write, unbiased okay if unbiased condition no potential applied then all which i drift is basically equal to your i diffusion clear no net current no net current in the unbiased unbiased no net current okay no net current in the unbiased okay movement is there both are going okay but ultimately current will not be there because both are equal so total current will be Total current is always I equal to I diffusion minus I drift and we can say this will be equal to zero, no net uh, current, okay? Initially diffusion was more like this, huge current was there, okay? And then because of the opposed diffusion keep on decreasing, okay? And then both becomes equal, so there is no net uh, current, clear? Now, now we'll write some of the points, first point already written that in the unbiased no net current, okay? Are there any carriers present in the depletion layer? In this depletion layer, here any carriers are present? No. What is there? Only immobile ions are there. Means in the depletion layer, in a depletion layer, layer, okay, no charge carriers. 
no charge carriers only what will be there m mobile ions okay only m mobile ions m mobile ions can move or cannot move these cannot move no charge carrier and no charge carrier so this will be giving you conductivity or this will offer a very very high resistance because there is no one to conduct there is no carriers so ultimately what will happen it will offer less resistance depletion layer offers high resistance or low resistance offers yes offers very high resistance and why it offers very high resistance region being h because only a mobile ions are there which cannot move and carriers are not there so it offers very high resistance clear over now we having here forward bias as well as your un okay reverse bias conditions okay next one so you remember why it offers a very high resistance region being because no carriers are there here we having this side your fb this side your rb if this is the your semiconductor here okay now in this one battery how connected like this so this is the p this is the n which side potential is more which side potential is more p side or n side in the forward biased yes so we can say here ultimately potential of p side is more here you have to remember potential of p side is more than potential of your n side and here we can write we are going to connect battery this way so ultimately potential of yes potential of hmm p side becomes less than potential of n side this is the one point you need to remember here now we can say internal field what are the direction of internal field internal field is always your n to p okay n to p in the depletion layer all the time okay so you can say external field here we are getting this is the positive this is the positive this is the negative so positive negative this is the external field so if i ask here this is the number 1 number 2 strength of field strength of field is reduced or increased strength of field both are in opposite direction this one here this one here so we can say reduced so we can say e is reduced okay strength of field is reduced but here we can say number 2 in this one this is negative this is the positive field is always positive to negative now external and internal both are in the same direction so here strength of field is increased this field was opposing the majority and supporting the minority here this field okay same thing but ultimately what happened this field strength is decreased so now major current will be increased or decreased we can say number in this one that i diffusion i diffusion increases okay and if i diffusion increases means this will conduct in this case you can see that earlier it was reducing the diffusion now its strength is further increased this field becomes very strong so here i diffusion almost becomes almost zero so here whatever current we are getting that current is basically your uh, total current is your uh, okay total current is basically because of your i drift and i drift is very less okay very very less okay so very very less current will be there very very less current means even that current is there that you will not be able to notice also that is there any current so it will allow flow of current which mainly current is because of the majority it will allow it will not allow okay so okay does not allow okay okay flow of current or we can write here in this one okay i diffusion increases so we can write i diffusion increases means ultimately current is there okay flow of current there flow of current will be there okay it will allow and here we can write flow of current will be flow of current okay is very less okay it offers if very less then we can write here offers very high resistance offers very high resistance high resistance for ideal even it is the infinite for ideal infinite resistance so much high resistance it will offer means this circuit we have to remove actually in our uh, whenever this thing is coming your rb we have to remove because it will be offering very high resistance very high resistance means ultimately this will be there or not there there is no meaning of the current here because current is almost negligible in this but here we can write in this one offers very low resistance very low resistance and very low resistance 
means in the ideal case we can say in your ideal case okay an ideal diode an ideal diode we can say resistance is zero then will be just like the plain wire okay ideal cases resistance is your zero clear now what happens about the width so you have to remember in this one because number five number six point width of depletion layer width of depletion layer decreases number six here width of depletion layer width of depletion layer okay increases these are the differences that you have to remember in this okay forward and reverse nothing is more than this in the forward and reverse clear last year they asked related to this width width of depletion layer here less in here this is going to be more okay done now next thing we can have here in this one that width of depletion layer width of depletion layer is width of depletion layer is proportional to one by doping also means they can ask if you do more doping then what will be the impact on the width so we can say your uh, if high doping is there then ultimately width will be less okay you have to remember this thing now comes your identification suppose if i give you this is the diode here and if i'm giving that this side is the 5 volt and this side this is that 10 volt okay which side potential is high you can say this side potential is high and side high and side high means this is your uh, R B and R B will conduct or will not conduct. R B will not conduct. There will be zero current in that. Okay, so we can say I will be how much zero. It will not conduct. If I say like this here in this one, suppose I am putting like this, and this is the ten volt here, and this is the five volt here, and this is the one kilo ohm. Now you can say this side P is more. If P is more, ultimately this becomes the forward bias, and if this is the forward bias, it will conduct. Forward bias. This is going to conduct, and we get current will be equal to yes, ten minus five h, five and five by one. It becomes how much? Five milli ampere. This is the current. Yes. So we have to identify as well as we have to calculate also. Okay. Done. Five milli ampere. And I am assuming this is the your ideal diode here. I will take some of the some more question in this. Suppose if I say this one is the your. Minus two, and this is the your minus five. And here I am putting one resistance, okay, of one kilo ohm. This diode will conduct or will not conduct. If conduct, what is the current here? You can say ultimately this is the minus two. This is the minus five. This one is more. If this one is more, you can say this is the forward bias. And if this is the forward bias, it is going to conduct here. What the PD cross this? PD, you can say PD is the three or seven. Three or seven, five and two difference. Okay, ah, seven, very good. <laughs> and minus two and minus five differences. Seven or three. Ah, some people are doing like this, sir. I'm getting seven minus two minus minus five. Uh, seven is coming. No minus two minus five. Minus two minus five. Seven is coming. And the difference is your how much? Eh? Three. So we can say in this one, your current will be equal to three by one. That will be your three milli ampere. Clear? Okay. Now I will take some of the questions like this. One more question. Forward reverse can be identified in any of the circuit? Okay. Question is here. So what if I give you multiple diodes here? Because after these circuits, we'll be having the break. Okay. Now, if I give you like this, and here I am putting some resistances. Hmm. This is a battery of five volt, and here also I am putting this resistance. Okay, each resistance is your hundred ohm, hundred ohm, hundred ohm, hundred ohm, hundred ohm. Okay, they are giving in this one that uh, forward resistance of diode, forward resistance of diode, resistance of diode each. Okay. Your hundred ohm. This is also hundred ohm. What are the meaning that if diode is in the forward condition, then it will be also offering resistance of hundred. If ideal nothing is given, ideal means it will be offering zero. Ideal is given, then it will be offering your zero resistance. Okay. If uh, forward, then it will offer also offer hundred ohm. It will also offer hundred ohm. It will also offer hundred ohm if forward. Okay. So we can say first we need to check here which one is the forward, which one is the reverse here. So I can say now in this one that positive here. So positive, positive, positive. You can see as yes, this is the forward, this is the forward, this is the reverse. It is cancelled. This will be having how much resistance? Hundred ohm. This is also having hundred ohm. Hundred, 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 hundred. Answer is two hundred in the series. Here also two hundred in the series. 
means we can say upper side, this is a 200, and we can say lower side also, this is a 200. And then here we are having the battery like this, and this is the 100. So you can say ultimately 200, 200 is also 100 in the parallel. So R equivalent finally becomes how much? 200 ohm, and we can write current will be equal to 5 by 200. Yes, over. Yes, now next question I can take here. Here sometimes wheat stone bridge might be there. Okay, like if I can give you like this. If this is the five, this is the 10, this is the five, this is the 10, okay? And here I have conducted, uh, connected one diode, okay? Now, and this is the battery. In this one, this is the, your uh, balanced wheat stone bridge. If balanced wheat stone bridge, balanced wheat stone bridge, will you check this is the forward or reverse? No need to check because we know in the perfect, okay, in the perfect wheat stone bridge, okay, we don't have to check a region being, okay, because a lot of people will be wasting time here that, uh, sir, we are not able to determine whether this is the forward or whether this is the reverse. No need to check because this by this equal to this by this. So it is a perfect wheat stone. So this will be automatically no current through, okay, no current will be here, no current. Why no current? Because this is the perfect wheat stone a bridge. Are no need of checking in this one. So directly we can say 5, 10, 15, upper side 15, and lower side 15. So what is the answer here? 15, 15 answer will be R equivalent becomes yes. 15 by 2, that is your 7.5 ohm. Over. Yes. Yes, now we'll be having the break and after this break of 10 minutes, we will be having your uh, rectifier circuits and then uh, transistors, okay? Hopefully in the half an hour we'll complete, then we'll go for your wave optics and other things, okay? Yes, so bye. We'll meet in the 10 minutes.